So welcome everybody to this new series which I am currently working on and creating for you guys and to share my knowledge about Advanced Locomotion System version 4 which we see here. Everyone can download it for free. It's free available on the marketplace and you can use it for your own projects. It's 100% written in blueprints and I will also try to use only blueprints here. But at first, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Achim. I'm from Germany and I work with Unreal Engine since two and a half years. I have very deep knowledge when it comes to C++ and coding in general. And yeah, I learned myself how to code in Blueprints and how to expose functions from C++ to Blueprints as well. Did many courses and so on. So if you are interested which courses I did, to learn Unreal Engine, let me know in the comments below and I will create a video there as well. But for this one, I will try to use Unreal Engine 5 and getting the new mannequin working. And maybe if you don't know ELS yet, it's a locomotion system, which is very familiar in yeah, the community. There we have basic setup for rifles, bows, boxes and so on. It's overly state. So here you can see all of them. And it comes with, yeah, it's a very complex system. It's a lot of blueprint code. And it comes with IK's system set up already. You can read here a full mantling system and so on, which is done with traces. And yeah, I tried to write my own locomotion system back in the past, but it did not work as well. Then I found ALS and since then I'm still learning from the system and it, it really involved doing the yeah doing the time but when I started with Unreal Engine it was already finished and the developer decided to not continue the development anymore or introduce new features and bug fixes so some issues I already know and maybe I will share a video as well where we try to fix those issues but for this one, we will still work on the new mannequin. And the new mannequin, this is, it, it's a bit, a completely, not completely, it's a bit different skeleton. And here you see the mesh. So let me show, show you the mesh. So that's the, we go to meshes. And here's the many, that's the male character. So let me disable the bones here. So here you can see it. And we also have Quinn, that's the female example. And for Unreal Engine 5, I think Epic will migrate everything to this new skeleton, which we have new bones. And they already provide the retargeting settings, which are here in rigs. So you can convert animations from the UE4 many to the UE5 many and backwards with this tooling. And we will yeah do a review and see how well the tooling does it and some issues i know already that we have some challenges challenges to get els working and yeah in the end hopefully we will have something like this it's not the final um yeah the final version but here you can see i can still run around and explain what els does it comes with some debugging stuff, which I have this year. You can enable with the Y key. Here also is the key mappings, which you can use, which is quite handy is the I key. So you can, yeah, debug the characters. You can also debug the AI. Here is the comma and dot key. You can select the ones. And Hmm, what else can we do with the T key? You can see the traces from the camera and in the feed, the key of the IK system. And what is also quite nice in ELS is here the overlay state. So yeah, it doesn't work here, <laughs> but normally it should be in the hand. And this one challenge we will solve in this in this series. And I will explain you how I get the stuff working there and yeah, we will dive very deep into ELS and figure it out what is going on there. Sadly, there is not much documentation or I did not find it yet. So 
if you know documentation please share it in the comments below and the course will be the following one video is about where we do stuff in the unreal Ed editor we introduce content or we introduce uh, let me simulate the game we introduce blueprint code and so on and get stuff working there and the second one will be then where i share my git workflow basically how i work with unreal engine and git and to document and save our work because oh, to be honest already during recording it saved me a lot of time because i can always go back and do the recording again to make it more clear what i do and what the steps are and so on and maybe i find some issues then i have to record it again because yeah that's that's how i use or that's how i use git for for this project or for the series and also i use it for every project i do in unreal engine because yeah it always has a history and i can't go back in time or if i have new issues which were not present before i can see what code was changed and so on and yeah one last thing is guys really be patient with me it's the first tutorial i ever do on on youtube and it's a huge series i don't know how many videos we will be there but i try to make them short but some of them will not be short because we will do some huge step and then save again our work with git so yeah and to follow this series you don't have to use git i just want to share my workflow and knowledge and i really like the phrase sharing is caring and hopefully you will learn something new and i'm also planning to create new series where we introduce new features into als which are not there like shooting or fighting or i don't know maybe you have some ideas what you like and i should do a quick tutorial for you guys and yeah i hope that you like it and if you like it please share the the links and yeah so that we can get more members to these videos and hopefully find some good solutions together and hopefully <laughs> this is really the last one hopefully there will be also members which try to help to keep the series up and yeah help to self to solve the issues which we have with als or with retargeting animations or anything like that because yeah it's quite a complex topic and process and if you do one step wrong everything could be messed up and you don't know why and also guys please be patient with me as well i cannot help everyone and i cannot show you how to code an unreal engine because i do it in my spare time and also my time is limit limited so please be patient if i don't respond immediately or yeah don't can help you even i do not know everything so yeah I st i'm still on the learning journey like you as well and i think that will be the case for for a very long time there will be new tools there will be new techniques there will be new assets and so on there's every day something to learn something new in unreal engine and game development in general so yeah that's why please if you like the series share it and hopefully we will get some skilled developers as well which can help to figure out stuff what is going on so we have quite a long talk from my side i think i will now stop this video here and hope that you will watch the next part and enjoy it as well to get the ue5 mannequin working and learn something new about ALS. <laughs>